Hello, welcome. In this video, we're going through the whole process to calculate internal loads for your fuselage. Now loads is sort of one step downstream of your design and one step upstream from stress analysis and structures optimization. It's an interesting field because it involves sort of a global understanding of the aircraft. Things like aerodynamic loads, we're using free bodies, dynamics, and it integrates that downstream towards the detail of the airframe structure. For instance, like load pass and uh, structural stress. starting with an initial design. So we have a structural layout. We know our, our materials that we're starting out with, and that gives us our mass properties of our initial design. Now our goal is to design and refine an internal structure that is just strong enough. And for that, we need to know the internal loads. That is the loads within the structure keeping the structure together that result from the loads applied onto the aircraft and applied within the structure itself even, for instance, for the, from the inertial loads. So that's the output of this video. This graph here of shear and bending moment distributed along the fuselage. These whole picture loads are independent of the structural layout beyond their mass properties but the way that those loads are distributed throughout the structure is dependent on the structural layout, like uh, relative stiffnesses, different load paths, things like that. So this graph doesn't tell us everything, but it's our top level starting point for downstream stress analyses. This design loop through design, loads and stress is an iterative process because our initial guess for the keel beam, for instance, might be too overbuilt, too, too heavy. And the weight, its mass is an input to the loads itself. So it's a loop that goes through uh, design and loads and stress as we optimize the structure. So throughout this series, we're gonna go through this self-contained Excel sheet that goes from A to Z to calculate the fuselage internal loads. The loop starts off at the mass properties. So that's where we're going to start off at in the next video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next videos in this series on internal loads.